Hello, today I'm here with a new video and if you don't know who I am, my name is Lisa, I'm a cruelty YouTuber that it's almost had a year long no buy. And today it's my, I don't know which part it is if I'm going to be honest, 7 maybe? Um, I'm doing a little 13 days of red this year, I did 31 days of red. 2020 and now 2022 I really wanted like a Christmas series or just a series now in December so I decided to have 13 days of red and spelling out Merry Christmas with my palettes and I don't know if I like need to say this in every damn video but today it is an R again and first I was actually planning on using the radioactive stack from Melt that looks like this so this is four really bright radioactive colors but I am not like so into this like I don't know what to do with these four colors so I have redone the little schedule and I don't know why I'm telling you this because I could just pretend that the thing that I'm using was the way to go but I did actually pick out all my singles from lethal that starts with an R. So these are my singles and my little lethal palette and I do really like this. Maybe not these two in this mix but the other ones I do really like. So now I'm, now I'm actually a little bit like excited. I have not though decided exactly what I want to do but I think that I actually will use this silver shimmer maybe these two and I think this one or this one or maybe these two so am I doing half cut crease yes and okay I am just going to apply my eyes and then we get started with my singles from lethal that starts with an R and I'm going to leave all the shades down in the description and these are like from palettes that is some of them are from the is it velvet dusk no yes <laughs> i always mix this up with like vintage storm and scarlet dusk from ace bj but velvet dusk was that the 90s grunge inspired palette some from the after dark it off the drug to eat this palette and then some shimmers that I, some shimmers some shades that I bought on my own so let's prime and get started so I think I'll take these two colors in my crease and maybe this one like a little bit out in my outer corner maybe and as I've said like it feels like I'm saying the same thing in every video and I don't want to know how boring I am to watch right now but I'm trying to talk about things um, like doing these as a little bit get ready with me so it doesn't get like so stressed and not um, and not like to uh, I don't know and the thing I wanted I, I want some help today because as you know it's soon new year and like I can't understand how that has happened like i have such a hard time to understand that 2022 is almost over like i was born in 89 and for me it can be like 2009 i can be totally fine with that maybe even 2012 that is 10 years ago 10 years ago and I like can't understand that 2023 is coming in a couple of weeks. It feels so so strange. And I remember when I was a kid, like my mom said the time is moving so much faster when you're older. And I was like, what do you mean mom? My time is the same as yours. It's not. I have noticed that now. Now I do really understand what my mom was saying. And I don't know it's, if it is because maybe you aren't looking forward to things in the same way as you were as a child. I never know what to say, child, kid. I don't know if it is because of that. 
like in Sweden you have your summer break when you are in school and that is 10 weeks and you were always looking forward to that like not have to go to school and I just looking forward to a lot of things when I was a kid but now it's just the same thing over and over and over again. And maybe that is why time seems to go faster when you're older, I don't know. But it was not even this I wanted to talk about and that I wanted your help with. I just hope that you agree with me, like time is going so much faster when you're older versus when you were little. Just assure me that you feel the same. The thing I want a little bit of help with is planning. I am not like a super organized person. I live in an organized chaos. Like my chaos, I know where everything is even though if somebody from the outside comes in and look at it and thinking like what the hell is this. I know where things are and that works for me. I do like to have it clean around me, I feel more calm, but like getting there, it's not my best thing. And with my YouTube channel, like I have had my YouTube channel for a couple of years now and I still cannot plan. And I always think that that like f making me a little bit stressed. We can take like this series that I'm doing now, my 13 days of Christmas. Yeah, something did happen in my personal life that made me really out of balance. I am doing okay, I am feeling okay, it's just something pretty serious happened. Not pretty, something serious happened and I don't know if I have realized what has happened and I'm... I. I'm so sorry that I'm talking about it like this because I don't want to go into what it is because it's not only regarding me, it's a lot of other persons. But uh, yeah, I still feel I am good. I am okay. But it just things has happened that I can't control. Okay, it was not even that I wanted to talk about either. So, planning. I have like planned this 13 days, like I've written down which palette I'm going to use, which day, and like what day the videos are coming up, and I'm filling in like the videos in between. But like it works for me like for two weeks, then I'm like totally out of it. Or I can plan something, but then when I'm going to do it, I have a hard time to do it. and. I don't know what to do. I have tried bullet journaling. I thought it taken too long of time and I was just stressed like, oh no, I haven't done my spreadsheet for this month. I was just stressed and I really want to be better at planning and I think that it can make me stress less. But the thing I have a hard time with, like planning ahead on, in YouTube, on YouTube, and I've talked about this before, I have such a hard time like when I'm filming and the video is not coming up for like two weeks. I think it's so strange because at first like it's hard for me when somebody comments on my videos and I can't like remember what I've talked about like in detail, so that is a problem. And also like I'm forgetting what I have done. But at the same time I am <laughs> working full time at another job that is taking up at least 40 hours a week. And I also, I don't want to film on weekends because I want to spend time with my boyfriend because he also works full time. So the weekends I want us to have together but yeah, like, I don't know where to start. I don't know if I, like, need to take a break from YouTube and, like, plan and then start. Because I'm, right now, I'm trying to plan in the middle of something that I'm already doing and I don't know how. So if any of you 
have any super great tips on how to organize your life, please tell me because I do really need to know. So yeah, I'm always so like jealous of people that can plan things. And I guess if you are having like YouTube as your full time, as your work, I guess it's a little bit easier because then you are not occupied, it's my Pepsi, uh, 40 hours a week with something else. Or maybe that's just me. <laughs> maybe that is also hard, but I know that maybe what works for you doesn't work for me. But if you have any good tips, please let me know. And I also have like, in December I'm going to plan how I want my 2023 to be um, on YouTube. Do you think I have planned anything? Um, no. <laughs> Not a freaking thing. Um, I don't know how many videos I want to put up. I don't know if I'm going to continue with a no buy or a low buy. I don't know anything about next year. And I think I just need to like sit down and think about it. But then also before I start to film today, after I directly when I come home from work, I was like, I'm going to count how often I need to film to make these 13 days of red. I need to film every day. <laughs> and I was like, I didn't want it like this. Because we are going away from It's I, I'm not going to film during Christmas because we are cel celebrating Christmas. So there it goes some days. And also I've taken some days off work. So I just want to have it chill. Okay, I'm going to cut this little cut crease with my NYX primer because I do want it. I don't want shimmer everywhere. Um, so yeah, um, this was maybe not what I have planned. But I think I'm going to do, just take the weekends and film like two looks at the same day. So, day, day. So doing a look, uh, take it off and doing another look. I'm not a super fan of doing that, but I guess uh, sometimes you maybe need to do that. I'm going to uh, cut this little crease and do you know what? I did actually clean my brushes. And like with bullet journal, if we're going to go into that, I thought that that could be something that would help me to uh, um, stress down. But like I am not that creative when it comes to things like that. But at work I am a little bit more organized. But like my organization on work, I use post-its for everything. My like whole down on my screen at my computer at work, it's post-its, post-its and post-its. And I really love that, just take one away. <laughs> but I guess that is not a thing to do at home. Um, okay, I'm going to swatch the free shimmers I have. I have these free shimmers. I was thinking about these two, but maybe these two are better. No. Or maybe just this or this. No, I think I'm going with these two. Maybe that is a little bit strange look. So I'm going to start with the silver one. And take that on the most part here. And yeah, I think if I was going to like put post-it notes everywhere, I guess that um, a cat is going to steal them from me. So I guess that is not an option either. So if you're good at planning, just hit me up. <laughs> hit me up with your best tips. Kids, now I don't know. I wish I would have one darker color. Like a black or something. But I don't because I don't think that this will look good. What am I doing now? Wouldn't it look really good with a black out here? But I don't have... I have a black from 
lethal, but it's transmutation, I think. Which has an R in it, but it's not an R in the beginning. And I'm like thinking, do I have another black that starts with an R? I don't think so. And yeah, I'm using red lip to this. <laughs> I just realized that as well. I think this looks kind of cool, maybe? Or does it just look like shit? Do I love this look? No, I do not. But I think it is kind of okay. I don't really know. But I think like... I think I'm so bad at seeing if a look is good. No, I think I have primer on my shirt. I think I'm so bad now to see if a look is good without like base and everything <laughs> so i'm going to take away the fallouts fix my base come back and then we use a little bit together and i we don't have like super many left but yeah we will see so for lips i've taken out two i am taking raptor from lethal and also a matte lipstick from nyx that is in alabama I actually think that I might take this one. I haven't used this for so long, but I, what I can remember I do. Really like it. But I do love this one from Lethal, but I don't know. Maybe I should take this one. The only thing, this is the cheapest lipstick from NYX. And I do not like this. First of all, it's like really loose like it feels it feels really cheap and the lipstick doesn't feel like um, secure in this and uh, it it like goes over here so i'm always so afraid when i'm putting the lid the cap on that i'm going to break it but i think i'm going to take this one but i think i do have a lip liner for this I actually do have the Alabama lip liner and I was going to outline my lips. I don't like to use a bullet lipstick that much because I don't think that I have so much control. And then I'm going to use the lipstick then. Maybe this was a little bit too, too red actually. But like a little bit too bright of a red maybe. Okay, I'm doing the stupid thing and take this away. This was so much easier to take away than a liquid, but I'm going in with this one from Lethal um, Rapture. And this is kind of dark. But I think that this will go better to the eyes. <laughs> this was so much better. So for my face, I did use Ombra, Buskill from Melt and Ozone from Nabla. And... I have a cat hair from my wash line. I did use Honey Dude from Colourpop. And I do like this look. I don't know though if I would, if I could take like whatever on whatever for eyeshadows. I think I would have taken a black one or really like really, really deep one. Okay, now do you want to see a cat? <laughs> it is Astrid. She doesn't want to be you see how big she is? Okay, she doesn't want to sit here. Yeah. Um, so yeah, I think this is a good look and I do like it. And I like that I did take this these shadows instead for the radioactive stack. So yeah, that was all for this video today. I do really hope that you liked it. And if you're not subscribed to my channel, please do. So you don't miss any of my videos. And I hope that I'll see you in the next one. Bye!